The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant has been having a hard time dealing with contaminated water. Last week, officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company announced they wouldn't be able to meet their deadline for decontamination work. They say groundwater entering the facility becomes tainted when it mixes with melted fuel inside the reactor containers. TEPCO engineers believe some of the fuel has cooled down and turned into solid debris. But they don't know the exact situation, so they're hoping to take a look inside with the help of a high-tech imaging system. NHK World's Noriko Okada reports. These flashing streaks of light show traces of a particle called a muon. Muons rain down on us from space. Each minute, about 10,000 of them land on every square meter of the Earth. Scientists have figured out a way of using muons to help them see substances hidden from view, like magma. The technique is a type of imaging known as muon tomography. When the particles hit a high-density object like magma, they lose energy or are absorbed. Scientists can measure this outcome to determine the shape of the substance. It's like an X-ray. Researchers are hoping to use the technique to get a better idea of what's inside the reactors. We expect to be able to check the presence of heavy materials, even if radiation levels are so high that we can't approach the area. Engineers will use detectors to try and determine the state of the melted fuel. Researchers did a similar experiment at a different nuclear power plant in 2012 and 2013. They were able to catch images of spent fuel in a pool inside the reactor building. On Wednesday, workers at Fukushima will try to repeat that success. They are scheduled to set up a pair of detectors outside the number one reactor. Engineers say Knowing what's inside will help them figure out a way to decommission the plant and put an end to the problem of contaminated water. Noriko Okada, NHK World.